children's ride on cars are, quite simply, fun to drive. These molded plastic cars come in hot colors and often have a friendly face on the front. These cars have character, and that's why it's often bumper to bumper at the neighborhood playground. There's nothing like that new car feeling, especially when it's your first set of wheels. Like many toys, the appeal of the ride-on car lies with children's desire to emulate adults. And behind the wheel of their own little vehicle, a child can feel all grown up. Today's child-sized coupes are synthetic creations. They start with plastic resin pellets. They mix in chemical additives and recycled plastic and grind it all into a powder. The powder funnels into a shaking sifter, which screens out large pieces the grinder missed. It then flows into a big blender. The plastic powder looks a lot like pastry flour, but not for long. The next ingredient is the colorant. There are various vivid hues to choose from. They pour a measured amount of red colorant into the blender. And a spiraling beater evenly distributes it, turning the white powder to red. They portion it into jugs, which then shuttle down a conveyor. They arrive at a carousel of molds of car shapes. A worker empties the jugs of colored plastic granules into them. These little grains of plastic are about to be transformed into car parts. They lower the lid, which contains the top halves of the molds. The mold cage then spins as it travels through an oven. The plastic inside melts and the spinning action ensures it completely coats the inside of the molds to create solid parts with a hollow interior. The cage then rolls into a station where a spray of water cools everything down and causes the plastic inside to solidify. The mold cage stops spinning and a worker hooks it up to a crane which lifts the lid. The powdered colored plastic has been transformed into ride-on car parts and it's taken just 35 minutes. Some parts fall out and others have to be pulled out, but it's easy work thanks to the mold's non-stick surface. Seepage during molding creates unwanted bits and nubs on the main car body, which they trim off by hand. They also shave areas that appear uneven. Vents were formed in the molding process to release air in the core of the part. They now cap the vents to keep little fingers from getting stuck inside. They trim the car roof to improve its contours. This also gets rid of any rough edges, making it child-friendly. They fit company medallions into slots in the roof pillars. And they do a bit more trimming to improve the profile of the parts. Drills now work in concert to bore assembly holes into the main part of this coupe. An employee then blasts out the plastic shavings with an air nozzle. He applies a sticker with production information on it and then does a final inspection. If he's satisfied with the quality, he applies another company logo. Now flames lick the plastic roofs and doors as they briefly torch them. They melt the surface just enough to give it a shiny veneer. At the end of the production line, they pack up all the parts of this children's ride-on car. From the roof pillars, to the tires, to the steering wheel, everything fits neatly into one package. Then it will be up to mom or dad to assemble all the pieces of this ride-on car. It's a job that should take about 15 minutes or so. Then zoom away, no driver's license required.
If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at www.howitsmade.com.